the question is i am a technical advisor in a company if i clear the patent agent exam it is mentioned in section 129 1c that a patent agent can't give the technical advice please clarify is it there in section 129 1c restrictions on practice as patent agent giving advice other than a scientific or technical nature as to the validity of patents or their infringement now this is an interesting question and uh, man i'd answered this before but i because it could be of some importance to people i would i would answer this again now what this tells us is that a patent agent cannot be a subject domain expert that's not expected from us the subject domain expert say biotechnology aeronautics is a scientist who is doing cutting edge work who knows the prior art like a person who is there uh, who who is in that field and who is capable of coming up with an invention the patent agent may have some basic knowledge of aeronautics or some some basic knowledge of biotechnology or he may not even he or she may not even have a basic knowledge because you could have a degree in physics and you could still file applications in biotechnology there's no bar so try to understand that because patent agent needs to be qualified in only one field of science they are not expected to contribute to the technological side of the inventions their job is only to collect the information that comes from the inventor or inventors process them in a manner in which the patent office would be interested in looking at because we have forms we have rules we have uh, we have various other things which uh, has to be satisfied and we will be looking uh, and present them and re and cover the objections that can come from the patent office so that the patent can get granted so we the patent agents cannot grant technical advice okay that's one thing the second issue that comes is which is also said they can grant advice other than scientific or technical which is tied to that which 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 the provision says that you can grant advice that as other than scientific or technical now what is advice that is other than scientific or technical which is legal let us be very clear about it and legal in the sense that we are not talking about general legal advice legal in the sense of the advice that can be given with regard to the patent act and the patent rules which is what you will be tested in your patent agent exam so if there is a question with regard to validity of patent if there is a question with regard to interpretation of patent if there is a, a freedom to operate opinion that is required these are the places where a patent agent can give advice so the agent cannot give advice on scientific or technical nature because as i said an agent may be qualified in a particular discipline of science and he may be prosecuting or drafting a patent in a different field of science altogether now this is uh, i mean this is slightly more complicated than what it appears because when we say that validity of patents or advice with regard to infringement or advice with regard to what we call freedom to operate opinions that is essentially a legal analysis a uh, freedom to operate opinion you have to construct the claim you have to do claim interpretation and then you will have to determine the scope of the claim you have to look at prior art and say where the prior art stops and where the invention begins so essentially what you will be doing in a uh, freedom to operate opinion you will be looking at case laws you will be looking at practice you will be looking at uh, claim interpretation in great detail and then giving a opinion based on that that borders on pure legal work but it's not a legal work which uh, a lawyers alone can do you need to have sufficient training in patent law to do that so so in that sense the patent agents advice has to be related to prosecution and drafting matters pertaining to prosecution matters pertaining to drafting and and in some jurisdictions you will find that the patent agents are also qualified in law so see many patent agents in us are jds they have a basic degree in law they have a scientific degree and they have qualified the patent agent exam so that makes them duly qualified to do it but but in india whatever opinion you give on a freedom to operate tomorrow it will be questioned if it comes to that 
point, it will be questioned in a court of law. So the court of law, again, you are going to face judges who are legally trained, who are not patent agents. So again, as I said, this is a uh, this is a, a evolving issue, and we still don't have very clear answers on it, as at least from the courts.